Alright, drop the pine bows. All I want is the pine cones. How many did we get? Mm, 16. That's uh, not as many as I was hoping. Uh oh. He's got my scent. <clears throat> dancing away from this bloated zombie because I don't want to get poisoned. Alright, so I think we'll check these two houses if we can, then we'll probably have to make a run back and uh, drop some stuff off. We're getting just about to our max weight without taking negatives. We've got volume. Pine cones don't weigh much. Stupid pine bows that keeps grabbing are annoying. Sure, grab a little solder. There's leather pants. Do I start grabbing leather? We has a basement. I haven't seen a spider basement in a while. I don't think I've seen one at all this run so far. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. There's the water storage. If you haven't, if you don't know, condoms are great water storage devices. They'll hold as much as a gallon jug, 15 doses of water, and um, they're nice and compact. They get bigger and get more bulky as you fill them, but um, unlike gallon jugs that are always voluminous, you can uh, take a condom. I'll, I'll take one. I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. Here we go. We have a, a water heater. So we're going to dispense, pour into a container, condom. We now have do, 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 a condom of clean water, 15. Same amount that a gallon jug will hold. So there you go. Take advantage of your condoms. And of course now the uh, the volume and the weight has gone up because we've got it full of clean water. But um, I don't really need this clean water. I'm going to ditch the uh, the condom of clean water. <laughs> we'll just pour the water on the ground, and now we are back to having just a condom that only has a 0 0.01, 0 0.01 weight and volume. So pretty useful. If you're really, really desperate for weight and volume and uh, so on. <laughs> I think it's, uh, no, nah, it's not UC Condom Dirty. It's UC Condom Dirty Spoiled Rotten Frozen. <laughs> spoiled Rotten Frozen Condom. That's, that's the one you want to watch out for. So, like I said, bathtub. We almost would have passed up one of the all-time best items in the game, the Gamma Globulin Shot, had I not stepped next to the bathtub. So there's your lesson for you folks that uh, didn't know. Make sure you step next to bathtubs. Gamma Globulin Shot is one of the best items in the game for improving your hidden health stat, your immune system, effectively. So if you... Manage to get that trash through really unhealthy eating over a long term or by getting radiated and infected and various other things that'll trash your immune system. Gamma globulin shots, one of the very, very few ways to directly increase your health stat. Can chicken, that's good food. Now we're overburdened. More flour. Cornmeal's good. Ah, oh, 
know, salad's another one of the healthier food types, but um, unfortunately, no. I'm gonna have to bash this down. That's why we brought the baseball bat. Hammer, a radio, and a screwdriver. No battery in the radio. Don't need the hammer. And just a plastic sheet. Alright, so this house is pretty well done. I also like to put notes on basements I've cleared on occasion in different areas so that I know I've got a safe point I can scurry back to if I'm out and about and manage to get myself into some trouble. Another thing for newer players is uh, breaking windows makes noise. So if you watch the sound indicator here, when I'm walking, I'm making two noise. I'm actually making more than two. I think I'm... Not deaf. What am I wearing? Am I wearing... Yeah, I'm wearing combat boots. They make more than two noise. This is your impression of the noise. So if you have any kind of hearing impairment or uh, encumbrance on your ears and things like that, then the noise reported will be less than what it actually is. But uh, smashing windows is about an eight. More 15. <laughs> or an 11. Whatever, it's it's loud. And that's how many spaces away the noise travels. So try to make sure you are in an area where there aren't zombies close enough to hear that and come investigate. Alright. Oh, I remember this, this spot. I remember this arrangement here. Did I ever get into that basement? I, I don't remember if I ever managed to get into there if we had to run. A raw tato. One raw tato. That's not gonna really help me much. Come on, game. Where's my clean roller blades? Oh, that's right. We had a zombie that was on the stairs that wouldn't move. It was keeping me from coming down here. Alright, no reason to be down here. Yep. No lab entrance. Nothing I care about. Trying to get out of here without getting grabbed or anything. Alright, so that's that section. And... We had cockroaches the other way. About the back. About the back, and... Oops, didn't mean to be running. Um, that's a problem. I popped back in the house, closed the window and door so I could get some rest. Get my stamina back. Forgot I was running and ran myself down to low stamina, which would have been really bad. Um, this had multiple ways in and out, so this is a safe spot for me to do that. Alright. That way was a cockroach. This way was the bloated zombie. There he is. We've got a troll on the loose somewhere. There he is. Hmm. What we got out here? Headlamp. Laptop. Alright, nothing I care too much about. Just zip right on past all these guys. This is where we had the troll fighting for us earlier. We uh, attracted a bunch of attention, brought it all over the troll to kill for us. <laughs> Use your environment. Take advantage of uh, things like trolls and uh, my favorite still, the uh, the giant naked mole rat. <laughs> Pulling one of those out of a basement, bringing him out in the middle of a road and letting him kill half a city. 
all by himself. Good times. So, we got a little bit accomplished. We got a few items we can uh, put to good use. Oh yeah, I forgot. I could have taken my uh, my vehicle. My, my wood frame and wood box. We'll have to do that next run. Still hanging out here, guys? Um, tempted to uh, katana these guys. Doesn't seem to how many it doesn't seem to matter how many times I kill the zombies though, they would more just keep appearing. I think I'm gonna leave them alone. I know I know they're here, I need to watch out for them. Hey Rev! Thanks much for the resub. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could tame naked mole rats. That'd be kinda cool. What do they eat? <laughs> what, what, what would you feed a giant naked mole rat? Whatever it wants, probably. Alright, so what do we get? We'll keep the condom for, you know, just for special occasions. We got some more duct tape. And, oh yeah, the pine cones. Compact suppressor that I unfortunately can't put on this. I think it only goes on handguns or, or smaller caliber. I think, there's a, I think there's a size limit or some kind of a limitation on what it'll fit on. Pistols, yeah. Pistols and smaller calibers. All right. So unfortunately, we didn't get the one I wanted. That's fine. Um, leave that. Leave the food. So food items. Canned chickens was great. Spam's okay. Pemmican's okay, but it's just very little of it. Cornmeal is good. Um, I don't do a lot of flour crafting, bread and such. Powdered eggs we had before. So we didn't get a whole bunch of food, unfortunately. We did get some pine nuts. That'll last a day or two. And is it? Oh, it's early. All right. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Hmm. I think we already visited the grocery stores, but I didn't actually loot them thoroughly. And I know there's a restaurant or two. I think all the meat in the butcher shop is going to be rotten by this point. Yeah, we'll make another trip out. Let's make another trip out. So, anything else to eat? Ditch that. Ditch the clean binos. God dang it. Do I have those on auto pickup? I must have them on auto pick. Make... Oh, wait, no, there. it's doing the 2x2 uh, the, the two two thing. <laughs> I forgot about that. My bad. Forgot we have this issue currently. There we go. Now they're all gone. That's what was confusing me earlier. When I kept thinking I had dropped things. Currently there's a bug in the game. Been there for the last, I don't know, 10 builds or so where uh, you can't drop more than two things at once. That's what I wasn't remembering or recognizing. I think we're good to go now though. We did get nibbled on a bit. Let's go ahead and throw a fresh bandage on the leg. I think I am going to get rid of these guys. Come here, Katana. Oh, we're up to three zombies now. <laughs> it just, you know, just cause. Um, that's a little more problematic. Three hits with a katana and it's still not gone? Kind of ridiculous. Oh. 
Fortunately, I got them both activated. That's not what I wanted. Didn't take any hits, that's the main thing I was after. <clears throat> so again, for anybody that just joined in here recently, I was maneuvering my character around specifically so that the enemy had to step onto rough terrain, then I was striking him, and I would back off and do it again, back off, do it again. That guarantees that they have to spend all of their available movement or action points there around to move onto the terrain. And they wouldn't get a strike at me at the same time. As long as I had stamina and I had maneuvering room, it was easy to... Uh, Maneuver them into positions where they would never get a chance to hit me. Now we can get moving. We'll see how many more have added in. This basement's getting a little crowded. Alright, shall we drag my box around behind me? 109 with the box, 95 without. So 14 movement points extra for dragging the box around. But it gets me um, 37 liters of space and... Um, won't affect me via the uh, the weight as much. We're gonna have to travel quite a ways dragging this box. I don't think I'm gonna. Let's just leave it here. Plus, I can't uh, I can't jump in and out of houses and cars and that dragging that box around. As far as I know, you can't modify mutant meat to turn it friendly. You just have to put up with the uh, the limit that your body can absorb per day. So the mutant meat, if I remember the number right, it's like 800 calories per day that your body can absorb safely. You can just ignore the, uh, the negative effects, but if you eat more than 800 calories, you build up toxicity and you start suffering the uh, toxicity negative consequences. Oh, actually, I, I should go get that welding gear that's right there with the box. Let's let's do that. That's actually pretty important. So, grab the uh, the cargo that we'll take with us. are waiting for me in the room. Um, this is not an advantageous setup here because it's hard for me to maneuver around this table in such a way to get them to step where I need them. just to avoid them than to fight them. I just want the stuff. Alright, we want the welding tank. Oh, there's multiples? Alright. I think that's all I need. Take the charcoal just because... Take the 
fire extinguisher while I'm here. What are we up to? 127. Yeah. <laughs> From 95 to 127. Still better, though. Slowing me down, but I can immediately let go of it to get my speed back if anything shows up that's going to be a problem. So, for this kind of controlled environment, good deal to have the little box. Alright, haul downstairs, and we'll just haul it all the way all the way down. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and disassemble the fire extinguisher. That way, if you're not aware, fire extinguishers you can get a steel jerry can out of. Very useful and important thing to have access to. And a rubber hose, in case you need to siphon gas or other liquids from one container to another. Mostly for siphoning gas out of vehicles. But the jerry can rubber hose combo for a fire extinguisher is really good. That'll give us some options. Uh, I'm just going to put these in the main pile. Alright. Running through the um, chat here real quick. Um, Nailboard traps. Nailboard traps are awesome. Check my YouTube channel for... Um, which one was it? Uh, boards and boxes. <laughs> quick, quick tip that I just put up a couple days ago. Yeah, throwing some traps up in that upper floor might help, but so far I've been able to easily handle the stuff that's been adding. If it continues to be pesky, then I'll think about throwing some traps up there. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, wheels can be put on it. Whether this character can currently put wheels on it, <laughs> that's another question. But sure, there's lots of variations to do. That's the cheap and dirty version that I used when we had to move a bunch of items with no skill and no tools. I had to move a bunch of items from this lab all the way down this road and all the way over here with my low strength character that also has a bad back and can only carry 58 pounds. So we just put together that quick board and box uh, or frame and box arrangement. And uh, it worked out really well. But sure, yeah, you can uh, you can make a nice fancy cart with uh, with casters or wheels on it, and a uh, cargo space for plenty of space. You can make folding carts with a shopping cart. Uh, you can fold up and move up and down Z levels. Lots of possibilities. Just depends on timing, available materials, skills, tools. Depends on a lot. Um, I think we're back to good now. Yes, except reload my scar. All right, head back out again. For whatever reason, the zombies are fascinated with this section of wall. <laughs> they keep coming downstairs into the basement and then staring at this wall. That's what this mess is in the basement up here. It's pretty much all zombies that have shown up and just decided to go stare at the majesty of that, that wall. Five level lab and you can only get to computers three. Yeah, that's that's not too uncommon. Can turrets hear? No, turrets cannot hear. Turrets have vision range during the daytime. It varies depending on the turrets outwards to uh, like 50 spaces. And um, that's pretty much it. And then at night, they can only see four spaces. They have no hearing. Well, let me rephrase that. They supposedly have hearing in that they get to now return fire. They get to blind fire back towards where a shot came from. 
which I can only guesstimate is done via some kind of a sound sourcing system. But um, if you're it, shooting one at night, step up within five or five spaces away, then precise aim and shoot it, and make sure you're using a decent caliber weapon. And you shouldn't have a problem because you'll insta kill the uh, turret, and you won't have to worry about their returning fire. Alternatively, you can uh, throw things at the turret. You can throw rocks. You can throw pipes, which have a bash 12. You can throw lumps of steel, which have a bash 12. The turrets ignore thrown items. Um, you can staff sling it with rocks. to kill it in like two or three rocks easily. You might need a couple levels of uh, throwing skill in order to do enough damage to get through the armor with uh, those kinds of items. But you can reliably kill a turret with just throwing pipes at it with like two or three throwing skill standing from five spaces away and it'll never shoot you it'll never know you're there yeah turrets now depending on which kind of turret have upwards of 1600 rounds that's 1600 rounds of ammo for the common roadblock or lab type turret the m2 version the high caliber uh, barrett rifle version i think is 400? 400 or 800, I forget. And then I'm not real sure about the new turrets, the riot turrets that fire the beanbag type rounds. I have no idea how many shots they have. Where was I going? We were going further north. Don't go, don't go that way. Go this way. I get talking and I forget what my plan was. Oh, we're back over in troll land. That's right. So... Zombies inside the vehicle. Roll just southeast of me. Alright, we just did those houses to my right. I don't think I looked in this. What do you think? Gold? Gold and silver. Useful for a few things, but not likely something I'm going to need anytime soon. See, I could rip the basket out of this. Well, actually, it's a box, so it's not a basket. Alright, what are we looking at? House, small wooded trail, more pine nuts, more pine nuts, so many pine nuts. <laughs> Go right up through the middle here. Chili con carne? Almost passed up a medium tin of chili. Ah, dried beans, also a good one. Money! Basement. Oh yeah, the wrench basement. Hey, wrench. Always there, 100% of the time. If you desperately need a wrench early game, then uh, just make sure if you find one of these basements when you come down the steps and you see the hallway here. There's like three different variants of this basement, but the one that has the opening right here, 100% of the time, has a wrench on that table. It's always there. So, don't don't pass that up. Zombies! Alright, I already cleared this. I don't care about this here. Head on out the back. Zombies on each side. I'm actually heading for the fast food restaurant there. And then I'm going to work my way across these other restaurants. See if we can pick up some... Better food stuff. So, oh, there's a fireman's. There's a fireman's. Ooh. Do we shoot the fireman's and hope for Halligan Bar or Crowbar? <laughs> I'm tempted. Now, now I got the attention to some zombies. I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with a fence line here and see if I can get these guys to line up a little better. Oh, that's getting kind of crowded now. Now I'm not so happy. Um hmm. Is that a separate fireman's or is that the same one I saw earlier? I think that's a separate one. Hey chipmunks, don't, don't mind me, I'm just gonna lure some zombies right into you so they, uh, they go after you instead of me. Alright, there's the first fireman's. 
Yep, we got two firemans. I'm gonna shoot these guys. Give me some goodies. Nothing. Turn out trousers. That's unfortunate. How about the other? Can I get it? Can I kill him before the other zombies block him? No gear! He got killed previously. Alright. Well, that's unfortunate. I picked this spot because I, I had time to fire after aiming without something closing in. Now I got this child coming, but I can come down and hop the fence and get back into this area without having to go through all this nonsense. That's what we're going to do. Hop the fence. They can't get to me. He can. He can. And we'll just kind of walk away and circle around. Let's build up this hardware store. I remember the hardware store. Another big crowd north of there. All right, zombie dog. Let's play chain link fence with you too. <laughs> I love chain link fences. Anybody that's learning how to maneuver through cities, pay close attention to the location of any chain link fences. They are awesome for breaking pursuit, for slowing down pursuit, for just maneuvering things to where you need them to be. So take advantage of the chain link fences. Plus, lots of pine trees for pine nuts. All right. A lot of zombies. I think the cop is now following my scent trail. Where am I? So that's a restaurant right there. Maybe full of bad guys. Lots of pots. Hmm. How about food? Any food? Uh, I don't want to get stuck back here with stuff plugging me into this back room. And upstairs. Hmm. Like that guy's coming. I'll be able to shoot him and still get out, so I, I think I'll be okay. What do we got? Rotten milk, macaroni. Oh, man. The door is mostly busted. Ain't nothing in there anyway. Just go right around them. That was... That's a pretty useless restaurant. Luxury RV, full of goodies. Got the kitchen unit, refrigerator, washing machine. Kind of condition. A little bit of diesel, a little bit of water. Leather seats. Another thing, if you're not familiar, they changed uh, seats to no longer provide leather. You have to find luxury vehicles to get leather now from seats. The rest of the seats from all the other vehicles are cloth and provide rags instead of leather. So luxury RVs are one of the few vehicles now that actually provide leather. Yeah, it's good to remember that. Don't need the rest of what's in there. So we're done with that. Um, shelter we ran in and out of. Got a lot of dogs kind of in the area here. They're going to track me down and run me down. That's going to be a problem. Yep, you can skin animals and tan the hides. That is a whole process. Often to wander spawns, spawn fresh hordes. Not quite the way they work. Mostly the wander spawn system moves the horde indicators that are on the map around in, uh, with various rules, and they move towards loud sounds. The system generates new zombies kind of independently. They don't really generate hordes, though. So. And again, it mostly triggers on sound. <clears throat> I think there's some component of time passing as well where they'll randomly spawn. And there's a point system where it buys new zombies from a point pool, basically. So if you are 
consistent about clearing your little base area constantly from the uh, zombies that appear eventually you'll deplete the local point pool and from then on you'll just get tiny trickles of zombies it shouldn't be any kind of a problem to deal with so it is possible to roughly clear an area to keep it clear you just got to uh keep patrolling usually i do it when i set a base station up i do it uh, when i wake up i'm gonna go to bed keep clearing it over and over and over again deplete the point pool and then from then on you just get a few zombies every once in a while it's no big deal you cannot ever forever make an area permanently safe with wander spawns on which is as it should be there should be no permanent safety in the apocalypse which unfortunately is not quite true just go to the roof of just about any building and you're permanently safe <laughs> so the z level feature kind of breaks some of the um some of the stuff in the game yeah, these zombies are pretty well spread out, and there's a goddamn lot of dogs. They're a little tougher for me to run away from. I don't really have any clean, clear spots, and now I've got these guys coming up following my scent trail. So things are about to get, uh, get a little exciting. Hmm. Good old tough zombies and their extra movement. So, another security van with a gun. Security van always has this basket in front, and if you see the little exclamation point, that means there is a weapon right there. It's a good early place to get a, uh, a weapon. I don't really need too much in the way of weapons, but we'll go take a look. Sig Pro 40 caliber with 5 out of 12 rounds in the magazine. It's a pretty good weapon, but kind of hard to find a supply of ammo for it. I'm not going to bother taking it. But that uh, lost the pursuers. Any diamonds? Nope. Still no diamonds. Uh-oh. Firefighter zombie. Hmm. So... I have a chain link fence behind me. Makes, as I mentioned and described and demonstrated earlier, for a pretty good escape spot. Let's stand in place for a second. Nothing's going to come get me. We'll refresh my stamina. Then we're going to pot shot that firefighter and see if we get lucky with a halligan bar crowbar. Oh, zombie dog's down there. Just trying to stay. Uh, don't go running anywhere, fire firemans. Give me a little more stamina. Ah, the dog got moving my direction. Now he's on my scent trail. All right, take the shot. Didn't kill him. Kill the dog. And finish him off. Anything fun? Backpack, BBA mask, and fire gauntlets. Well, minorly interesting stuff, but not what I was hoping for. Alright, now we're going to back off. <clears throat> so, notice how they've all clustered up right there where they took the shots? That's their behavior. They uh, Because they couldn't see me directly, most of them. They're all running to where the noise occurred. That's how that system works. And um, eventually they're going to start trying to follow my scent trail unless it fades before they, they get uh, get on that trail. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and hop the fence here and we'll, we'll lose our pursuers, if any. Like that zombie there. No, nah, he, he got distracted by the group. <laughs> Let's see, anything in the shed here? Oh, look. I can pry with my hammer some seeds. I don't need no seeds. 
Go check out the restaurant that I was heading towards earlier. What do we got? Rotten, rotten, rotten. More chicken. Chicken in a can. Spam. Fast food. French fries? Yeah, I don't want french fries. We'll take the tomato and the onion. I think that is it. It's not a food place restaurant. Nope. Oh, not a food place. Food person restaurant. Alright, so that's done. Got another restaurant. Caddy corner up that way. Back door? Back window, even better. Oh, I think this is the food person restaurant. Yeah, this is the food person restaurant. Sugar! We'll take the salt. The curry powder. Hey, there's somebody back here with me. Cookbook. More flour. Rush to the back of the kitchen. Nothing back there. More cooking oil. Thirty-two portions at a hundred calories, hundred and twelve. All right, we'll grab that. I almost never grab spaghetti and lasagna. I just, yeah, gallon jugs too heavy. That three gallon jugs. Whoa, bad dog! I gotta get out of here. Yep, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> They're gonna keep streaming in after me. I'm gonna get trapped in here pretty quick if I don't bail. Alright, there's the food person hatch to get to the upper area. I'm not gonna go in there though. We're just gonna. Ooh, don't block my route. Ah! No! No grabbing! <laughs> Bad zombies. Let's see. Alright, we're okay now. That, uh, that almost got ugly with a lucky grab. I won't even call that a lucky grab. That was just a good grab by the zombie. Alright, still got volume, still got weight available. We got a little bit more food. A low level cookbook, which I think I needed. It's the garage north of me, which I ignored last time because there was stuff in the way. About the only thing... Oh, and, and this problem. About the only thing that could be in here that I would care about would be an, be an arc, arc welder. Jerry can, funnel. Another acetylene torch and a welding tank. Hmm. 26 pounds, though, for that welding tank. Two of them! <laughs> And a couple of engines. Don't really care about anything else. God damn it! I fucked up. I shouldn't have done that. Now I'm screwed. Now I are screwed. <laughs> That's a big old goof right there. Hmm. That is very bad. That is hilariously bad luck. <laughs> Try to drag a crate. Three things that you had no idea were anywhere in the area come zooming into the building with you. Because, I mean, nobody was near me or followed me that I could see from all the way out here. So unless those guys followed me from here when I did that loop where I looped out and then back around, they would have had to have followed me a mammoth distance to follow my scent trail all the way up here. What's so bad? <laughs> What's so bad is I have no hit points, I'm boxed in, I'm grabbed by a tough zombie. Um, I have no real martial skills. God damn it. It's, it's bad. It's very bad. <laughs> There's a whole lot of bad right here. 
I don't have the gun out. I'd have to drop the bat and pick up the gun. Then I'd have to take the shot. Meanwhile, I could get a broken arm, leg, or a broken head <laughs> in the time that I try to do that. Selecting brawling's not going to do much when you've got uh, little to no skills. At the moment, they can only attack me one at a time. The problem being that uh, as soon as I kill one, another's going to step into the space. I'd have to be able to drop the tough, which is going to be the hardest one, and move, not get bit or grabbed enough to break something. And as soon as my leg goes to seven health, which one hit from any of these things might do, we instantly get hit with a mammoth uh, movement rate penalty. So, I was looking at possibly breaking a crate and then trying to hope to get lucky, but I, with the grab that's already on me, I don't think it's going to happen. Because I'm, I'm grabbed by the tough, so no matter what, my movement, my speed is down because of the grab. Hmm. And as soon as I fire a gun, if I don't immediately get out of this building, it's just going to be a dog pile of more, more zombies. Well. Yeah, it's probably a good time for a break. I need to think about this. This is, um, this is a big deal right here. This could be the end of this if we don't get pretty lucky. So let me take a break. I need to go bathroom anyway. I'll get my tea and uh, we'll have some zombie dog uh, cookie time and uh, all that good stuff. So I'll be back in just a bit. I'll uh, go brew up that up and uh, we'll get moving again. I'm going to run a quick commercial while I'm gone and I'll leave zombie dog to keep an eye on you guys. Make sure you don't steal anything while I'm gone. I will uh, be right back. <laughs> 